We shift now to Tim Canova's campaign. CBS 4's Tiani Jones is live in Pembroke Pines with his message for voters. Tiani? Well, the party here doesn't start until 8 o'clock, but Tim Canova supporters are hoping they have something to celebrate tonight. The plan is to win today. Law professor turned politician. It's the story Tim Canova would like to see written. This morning, he arrived to his polling place at the First Baptist Church of Hollywood full of optimism about a race many see as hard to win. And we have a lot of momentum. Uh, we've got hundreds of volunteers and uh, field workers, field organizers who have been pounding the pavement for weeks, actually, knocking on 10,000 doors a week. So it's a great grassroots campaign, and there's nothing like it. But it's a long shot. His opponent, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, not only has a 10 point lead in the latest polls, she's never faced a primary opponent. Canova, however, believes the stark contrast between he and his opponent will drive voters out. Debbie Wasserman Schultz has been steeped in corporate money, big corporations, and Wall Street banks. And she's been looking out for their interests and not the interests of the people of, of South Florida. We are considered the underdog, but I think we're going to really shock everybody today. This campaign has seen some highs and lows, highs and the amount of campaign dollars that have flowed in. Lows with Bernie Sanders, although he was an early supporter, he never showed up to South Florida campaign for the candidate. We're going to be here all night and bring you more as the night goes on. Reporting live in Pembroke Pines, Siani Jones, CBS 4 News. Siani, thank you.